Hi everybody! <laughs> so how are you doing? I'm starting over the stream now. So um, um, uh, let's see if it works <laughs> this time. I had all sorts of problems. So uh, this is my current household. I'm uh, just gonna pop into my settings. Oh, I have it in Swedish. Uh, well, we will have to do. I will translate for you. You will have to ask me. And it's warm. So as I was saying, oh, we need to restart the game as well, but uh, that's fine. Why isn't everything set on highest? Because my computer is awesome. And I think I want that. Texture details, Sims details. Yes, you need to start over. Yes, I know. Save and quit. Yes, <laughs> we'll see how it looks and how my computer handles it with my new graphics card. All right, so about my week. We can we can talk about my week while the game is uh, restarting. So, um, yeah, uh, I came in on Monday on to work and I usually have uh, I usually have uh, like one meeting each week, like uh, one or two tops. And then I saw like I had a meeting like every day and I was like, oh, this is a lot. And uh, the thing about it is that I have been, um, I have been recovery from exhaustion. I don't know what happens while I can't see the screens. I don't know if the stream stops or what, so I stop talking. Anyway, um, and I thought I was fine. Uh, I've been working full time and it's it's been sort of fine. I've been kind of tired. Um, is that music too loud? I don't know. That's probably fine, right? It's fine. Anyway, but then seeing all those meetings made me really stressed out and I had an email from the CEO uh, saying like, can you... I don't know what she wanted really, like, she... yeah, it was something about a project. Uh, I shouldn't talk too much about work anyways. And uh, well... I just, I just got really stressed out. Oh my god. Can we get the music to be less loud? I'm so, like, I don't know if you can. Like, if I do this, now we don't have any music. But then, when I go into the game, I don't think we're gonna have any music. Um at all. <laughs> I don't like it. Well, can we keep it really quiet? Like, yeah, <laughs> like that. Anyway, that is really quiet. But it, it's like, it's, it's sort of glitchy. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, okay, so this is my current household. Uh, find Apple. Okay, I I don't know. It it lags a bit, so it's hard to do. Anyway, I thought okay, it will be fine. There's a meeting. I will talk about it in the meeting. But then uh, I woke up on Tuesday, and my stomach was like not good. Um, So, like, I actually ended up stopped working and slept all day, and I like my stomach really hurt, and it was it was bad. Um, and then um, yeah, so so I didn't work like Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and then I worked on Friday. Um, yeah. 
it didn't feel that good because it feels like a lot of people are, people are depending on me doing stuff and I don't think they are <laughs> like it feels like they are but I don't think they are actually I think that I just they say can you help out with this and I go in and I look at the project like the whole project and I take responsibility for a, the whole project if that project goes bad then I'm gonna feel responsible and that that doesn't make any sense like all they wanted me to do was testing in one project and I'm like well I can't deal with this because this project is not going good <laughs> so um, um, like uh, that's a me problem that has nothing to do with work and I'm a perfectionist and if the project isn't going perfectly I feel I have issues it's a whole thing now I want to look at my sim here this is not my main sim although it's going to be uh, but this is Bender, named after one of the shatters in my last stream. <laughs> uh, and this is his little brother, Fadi. And uh, they have quite a personality. Um, so, uh, like, Bender is uh, eager and he likes uh, vehicles. That doesn't really fit my, with my storyline because these are farmers, but he he likes that, <laughs> and he's easily impressed. Uh, that I think he got these traits when I wasn't paying attention to them, so um, well that happens. Uh, and he's also athletic. Uh, I didn't. I don't know if I got to choose any of these. I think I should got to choose one of them. I don't know. Anyways. I like that we don't get to choose all the time, by the way, because it forces us to play different sims. I, I think that's awesome. Uh, his little brother, though, that is not the heir of this farm lot, so he's going to have to find his own home at some point. He is a couch potato and he is a loser and a heav heavy sleeper and a fisher. So, uh, yeah, you can imagine <laughs> he's kind of he's slacking off like uh, every chance he gets. <clears throat> but I've been focusing a lot on them keeping this garden here um, nice and uh, good uh, with this thing that I downloaded from the Sims 3 store. Uh, and it's, uh, I don't, I, I feel like it's kind of cheating, but then again, I download this, this, and this, so like it's official content, so it's not cheating, all right? <laughs> uh, I have been meaning though to see. I I downloaded like a bunch of laundry baskets, uh, and I feel like that's a weird thing to download, like going specifically for laundry baskets. But we have like two in the game. And I had to download this clothes line, which doesn't look very good because all the clothes are just uh, brown. <clears throat> but, okay, let's get rid of that, I think. Wait, can we put it somewhere else, actually? Like, do they have one in here? They don't. Why is the, <laughs> what, what is happening here? Why are you there? I didn't put you there. What happened? I honestly didn't put this machine here. Like, what is this? Is it laundry machine? We already have a laundry machine over there. This is our laundry machine. What what is this doing here? I have no idea. We don't need to. All right. Okay. So they can have that. I will use create a style. Can I just do this? Will that be any good? I don't know. I, I love create a style. It's like so fast to make the room look um, the same. <laughs> so, so everything matches. Like 
unlike The Sims 4, where you want this bed and this uh, dresser, and they're like, yeah, but you can't have the same... Uh, you can have uh, wood tones, but you can have this, you cannot have the same ones. So it, that, that's just hilarious to me. So maybe they will stop putting laundry on the floor and then he can have like something else because I thought it was so boring with just... I had that one, this one I had, and it doesn't go with anything. And this one. And it's kind of... Yeah, I thought it looked kind of weird, actually. Uh, maybe this one fits in his room. I keep looking at the colors, even though we can change them. I really liked this one when I saw it, but I also... Oh, <laughs> that was small. I thought it was bigger. Uh, yeah. Well, you know what? Actually, that's awesome that it's smaller. Because then we can put this teddy bear, bear, ted it's not a teddy bear, come on. We can put that in the corner next to it. And we have a little room here. And he likes lavender, oops, that's not what I meant to, to do. Men come on, minted. Oh well, <laughs> sometimes I say stupid things anyways so I'll just up the contrast here a bit no I meant on this one I think when I do the dropper thingy they should just um, put me in the other on the other object so that I don't accidentally change the, the first one because the, the new one is the one that I obviously want to, to edit, right? Right. Okay, I really like this bench and this TV. It, it, hmm. They don't go with the rest of the house. Okay, okay, so let, let's, let's start over. I didn't t tell you about everything. Okay, so uh, now it's winter, so there's snow and everything, which it's kind of weird. I, I I thought about deactivating winter, but I think like every part of the world has winter. Oh, what is going on? It's being weird. Okay, so this is the the island um, that I made in Create a World because we have that. It's awesome. It's it's kind of a hello world. Uh, because I didn't know if I could make a world, so I <clears throat> I just like hastily made one and then put it in my game and then I started playing and I couldn't stop. So, <laughs> so I never made a second world. But it's fine. Um, so like it's all desert and I put some palm trees here and there. And uh, like over here, there's a, a bunch of them. I put them in after I went into the game. So also, we have a writing center and a park and a cat jungle hangout thingy that doesn't have a label apparently. Uh, and some houses and... Um, food store and the city hall actually i think i broke my own rules what is this we have like a, a festival over here this is a lively festival isn't it this is awesome <laughs> like am i supposed to put things here like what is this oh this is the festival area oh like since i made this world i don't blame the sims team for things don't not working it's like all me although i think it's weird that we don't have stray cats because bender has a lifetime wish to adopt six stray animals however i read on the internet that it may be fulfilled by adopting from the shelter so we'll try that later Anyway, so this family, I made this sim here, 
Her name is Tammy Donbo. I don't know what about the last name. It was like generated, yes. So that, that's just, that's how it is. <laughs> okay. So yeah, um, I made her and she moved into this lot and started the farm. Oh, <laughs> they're missing roofs. And um, then she went to Egypt. Oh, uh, well, I'm presenting the characters. I can't be doing that. All right. And then he, she met uh, Fahad here and uh, they got married and uh, they moved in here because you can't live in Egypt. Actually, that would be cool if you could. Um, I don't know if there's a mod uh, that makes you live in that world. That would be that would be cool, but they live here on this little island that I imagine is like a bit outside of Egypt <laughs> or something. <laughs> but this is where they live. Uh, anyway, and then they had little Bender that is now a teen. He is now a teen and he he wants, as I said, uh, alright, so Tammy wants the perfect garden and she has two out of eight uh, perfect plants, but I don't think she's gonna fulfill this because uh, you can see here that she might die like at any point. And I will be sad because this is our matriarch. Anyway, she was an adult, not a young adult when I started. I didn't pay attention enough, so that, that happened. Uh, <clears throat> Fahad wants uh, to be the mechanic. He wants to uh, perfect uh, the handiness skill and the logic skill. And so far... Um, yeah, he's working on it. He he has done some handiness work. They recently bought, bought this chess table and this um, what do you call it? Telescope. Tele telescope. Yeah, telescope. Uh, to look at the stars a, a little bit. This guy is obviously going to do that. So yeah, he's working on it. He's an adult, so he has some time left to do it. I'm not worried. <laughs> um, and Bender, as I said, he wants to adopt six um, had a loss, uh, stray pets. I put these gnomes out, but I don't get any strays. Uh, so I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if there's a lot that I need to put down. Um, anyways, so we'll just try to ad adopt from the shelter. And then uh, Fadi wants to be a jockey, like probably because they have a horse. Uh, right, so they have Basil. Um, <clears throat> Tammy had a like wish to adopt one of the wild horses but you need like a thousand in riding skills to to be able to do that so i don't know she is like level six and she wasn't allowed to yet yet so i <laughs> sort of gave up on her for that who is this dude what is he doing here um all right he has purple eyes. Who are you? Alonso Grimhead. Alright. Uh, well, do a friendly presentation, I guess. But I'm gonna fix that roof. Oh, I like that they do this. Uh, when you go into build mode, you all may always see it in summer. So you don't have to worry about the snow, like in Sims 4. Like, how hard can it be? <laughs> Come on now. So, yeah. Uh, is this good? Uh, it looks weird, but it's fine. That's fine. Well, yes. I don't. Hmm. Hmm. We need to fix. Like, if we do that, 
Oh no! Oh no! I don't think we can edit this roof. Well, it, it will be. Ooh. Yeah. We could just you do this. Oh. What did you do, game? I don't want. I don't want that. There we go. But the game does a weird thing. Oh my goodness. Oh. Is that how it works? Okay. So I, I want this kind of roof on this part, but not on that part. So it's... <laughs> I, can't, I keep having to rebuild that. There. You see, because you can't have a roof that slants down outside your front door because I had that in uh, in Jokmok where I lived where it snows a lot a lot and we sometimes couldn't get out because all the snow <laughs> kept accumulating in front of our front door like how can you build a house like that oh hello <laughs> Ramia hello how long have you been playing The Sims 3 oh I've started playing it when it came out but uh, obviously, when The Sims 4 came out, it took me a while actually. I, I bought The Sims 4 on release, but then I didn't do the switch right away because I felt like The Sims 4 didn't have all the elements that I wanted. And then in the end, I ended up switching mainly because of YouTubers. Like, uh, I want to be part of, part of the community that was playing The Sims 4, so I started playing The Sims 4. But now, <laughs> uh, lately, I have been feeling that all the packs that they release for The Sims 4 is like watered down ver versions of The Sims 3 packs or The Sims 2 packs, and even like they take a pack that they used to release, like. Uh, supernatural and then they just split it up like into re realm of magic and vampires and I feel like they like, stop doing that I don't want you to do that and there's no depth to it and that whole thing so so when they they announced after hearing all of our concerns about this for like six years and asking for cars for six years and they released <laughs> going to Babu uh, to have a Star Wars play then I switched back to The Sims 3 and uh, I have been having too much fun to switch back <laughs> I'm playing The Sims 3 for the first time on PC and I love it. Yeah. I mean, this game is actually very awesome. <laughs> so, unless it, it crashes on you, because that happens sometimes. Like, uh, the reason I stopped playing The Sims 3 in the end was because I had a lot of crashes and, like, games would go... like save files would go corrupt uh, that's why I started doing this save as and like putting a number after it like I, I already did that but every time I save I save as save as a different like the other one <laughs> so that if one save file gets corrupt I have another one that's what I always do and I keep doing it in the sims for it although I have never had an issue with that in The Sims 4, but I, I keep doing it like in case it starts happening. <laughs> like I've been doing that for six years without an without having the issue that I'm preparing for. <laughs> anyway, so that's why I stopped. Like I would usually get to like the fifth generation. I, I play f to get to 10 generations. like. I don't know what I would ever do if I got to 10 generations. It's, it has never happened in any sim game. <laughs> I think I might have done it like once or something in The Sims 2. But you know, I never stick with a save file. I, I do, I create new ones. So I don't know what, what would happen if I actually reached 10 generations. If I would just stop or if I would keep going. I don't know. 
I had to input mods because it was slowing down my gameplay. Uh, yeah, I have been told that you actually need to have like this Nras, <laughs> like Twalon or whatever it's called, um, uh, Error Trap and uh, Overwatch. Like that actually helps with game gameplay, like with performance and uh, also not crashing. I hope it's right because I have now installed them. Um, so yeah, what is going on? I think they're having a party. Is someone having a birthday? I don't remember. The horse is having a birthday. I don't know. Can you have a cake for horses? I don't know. Uh, not far. Uh, no. Oh, maybe they're just having like um, a fun party. I can't remember what I did. I was very tired when I played this last, so I don't remember what they're doing. Uh, but there's a lot of people here. That's and uh, uh, like uh, okay, do a presentation with her. Oh, what happened now? We have so much in common. Yeah. Do you think you have a chance? She has the love of her life over there. It doesn't... Oh, what is going on now? Like, I feel like this happens a lot. Like, we have so much in common. Let's get to know each other. And they go like that. Yes, it does help. Oh, good. Oh, good. <laughs> I've been so addicted to that I stopped playing Animal Crossing for the Switch. Yeah, I play that. It was not for me. Like, I, like it was addictive, but I didn't see like the point of it really. Um, like, it was, well, what what is the point of any game? But it it felt I was doing it so um, methodically. That it felt like work, so I didn't quite like it. All right, so the, the, he wants to improve the handiness skill as usual. <coughs> oh yeah, they they love animals and this uh, save file, so they keep picking up like this little this little thing. <laughs> it's cute. They found this in the garden. Uh, Ah, there's supposed to be a lizard here. Where is it? Did someone pick it up? They pick. They keep picking it up. Yeah. Mm. Stop carrying the lizard around because if they have it in their inventory for too long, it escapes. <laughs> so, um, and we can't have that. All right. Okay. What am I looking for? I don't. I don't even know. So okay. Oh, he's talking to his... Oh, are you going to... All right. They're going to have some fun in the tent now. Uh, I activated autonomous uh, woohoo in a mod. In the woohooer, I think it was. Uh, I don't know if it's autonomous otherwise, but I thought that would be fun. Uh, I don't I don't know if I'm gonna keep them together though he met her here I was originally planning for everyone in this save file to always go to Egypt and find someone to marry but he found uh, this girl here uh, she's Veronica and she also like likes cars and sh she's a loser and a night owl and something else that we don't yet know don't you even know your girlfriend's uh, trade spender you need to ask her about that come on uh nice uh, beep, 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 beep. can we say like get to know no we can't we can ask her about her day we can also Give oh, and those about new car. Uh, you can't be walking around like that. You get cold. 
I think. Like, this is not The Sims 4, but I think that's how it works. What do you want? Uh, Alright, so he wants to get better at riding. I don't think we're gonna pursue that for him. There, there isn't time. Uh, but he can watch the stars with her. There you go. He had a party with with Veronica and uh, another teenage couple. They were so cute and they were up like all night. That party actually didn't end uh, until like the next day at noon. <laughs> it was wild. Can you give me your best tip for keeping everyone in your home positive and happy? Uh, because I used to have a dog and a cat and they're always in a bad mood. Yeah, I don't actually know how I do it. I think I think I just like Okay, so he's hungry, so I'll just uh, like auto complete that. Um is sometimes they they're not happy. <laughs> um but like they're they're fairly intuitive. Like I didn't direct him to watch TV, but he loves watching TV. Uh if we look here. Um, he is a couch potato and it says your sim thinks it's very fun to watch TV and uh, he had a wish to, to get a TV so I got him one and now he can't stop watching it I think that's so awesome like they really do have per personality uh, so like it says here that he likes to watch TV and he really does like he really gravitates like he's in here all the time watching it and uh, when it broke he was like heartbroken <laughs> oh, that was hor that was wonderful uh i mean um so basically just keep objects that helps with the need if you if you notice that everyone is like dirty all the time get a better t bathtub so that like um so that they can bathe faster um because if they're in there all day all the other ones will get dirty and yeah you know you get it, the point um and they hmm, i think they're better at fulfilling their needs by themselves oh i didn't yeah okay so yeah and also like buying these lifetime rewards um yeah this is really handy you don't want to want them sick do you <laughs> so like that helps um i feel really bad doing this but like um his wife is about to die and he will have to get a new wife like he's been working on that so, but it might help if he's eye candy, but then he will have that for the rest of his life. And I'm not sure it's a good idea, but I feel like he's not the faithful kind. Let's, let's give it to him. Like, uh, he is also workaholic, handy, perfectionist, brave, and uh, sensitive. And I, I feel like there's in-depth uh, descriptions of all of this. So I feel like that's really helpful to read them. I was so busy working trying to make my pets and my sim happy that I actually accidentally burned down my kitchen and now my cat always dreams of fires. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Like something traumatic happened and it affected your sims. <laughs> I think that's awesome. Um, what is this? Oh, he he didn't succeed in uh, tipping a cow over. Oh no. Uh, you can't tip a cow over. Like who who came up with that? I don't know. Uh, if we read this. <laughs> He often cries to express his happening happiness. I haven't seen that yet. All um, mood effects. Oh, 
sometimes it takes me a real long while to find the right word word to translate. Uh, all mood effects um, gives your say more mood. <laughs> the, the good things go better than the bad things is worse. Yeah, okay, so oh, and I like the point system they have here. Like this is this gives fifty. Like in The Sims 4 we have like 5 and I feel like, so this is like 12 uh, minus points, so that, like it's more tunable. Um, like this, okay, so you're talking to him, I think. Oh, well, you are now. <laughs> hey, why didn't you... <clears throat> So I've been keeping her uh, up here. Uh, I've been like paying real good attention to that because I think she might die if this drops too low. I don't know how it works. She's 95 days old now. Can we say that is years? I don't know. She's really old. She had a crow, but he died. Everyone was really sad, especially her. I only played Sims 4 on PS4 and it was horrible. Yeah. Um, I never played any Sims game on a console because I can't imagine that being good. <laughs> like, I need my mods. <laughs> and, like, um, yeah. Uh, can I ask, uh, do Sims die of old age? Yes, they do. It, unless you turn aging off. But can I ask uh, what, how you decided to buy a Sims game for a console? Because I'm kind of curious about that. Like how... <laughs> um, I don't want to be rude, but like what, what goes into the thought process of deciding to do that? Is it like because you don't have a good computer to play it on or but you're playing the sims 3 now so i don't <laughs> anyway so what did you go to bed during a party like come on oh he was so tired oh uh, and he ate something bad from the fridge um stale food like this girl, uh, if we move her in, I will change her hair. I think that hair is horrible. <laughs> uh, and it doesn't suit her very good. Yeah. But I like her eyes. Give permission to re ride horse. Mm. Oh, <laughs> I gave him this... Um, sleeping bag and uh, he never sleeps in his bed anymore he has like <laughs> i'm tired i'm gonna go to sleep here <laughs> like uh, th that is weird but um, i'm loving it why don't we have sleeping bags in the sims 4 i don't know there's so many things we don't have in the sims 4 it makes me sad okay everyone is going to bed now all right you're going to bed again all right Okay, I guess party's over, because <laughs> my sims are going to bed. All right. I only own console, never interested in PC games until recently. I don't have a powerful laptop, uh, but I play Sims 3 with not too many issues. You know what? The Sims 3 is actually more uh, demanding of your PC than The Sims 4 is, because they kept going on and on about we're going to do make this accessible to everyone and they keep <laughs> they keep saying like yeah yeah we thought about putting this feature in but the game would be too big and like hardcore sims players like me i've been playing the sims and the, since uh the year the sims one came out so i've been like it's it's always been there uh, what do you want? Do you want to meet someone new? Yeah. And uh, yeah, and this this wants system. Apparently, they can fit in The Sims 4. 
like they have the whims but it's broken so they hide it but you can activate it but it doesn't work that well so it doesn't mm, i don't like it uh, they keep doing that and people on Twitter keeps telling me when I ask for feature Yeah, the game would be so big and I'm like, are you realizing the kind of machine I bought Enabled to be able to play The Sims 3 good <laughs> Like I spent money. They say that Sims 2 was the best, is it? Um, in some respects, yes uh, like I prefer The Sims 3 because what I always missed in The Sims 2, like I really, really missed it um, from the start, was story progression. It wasn't invented back then, but I was like, we were asking for it, we were like, um, so uh, when I grow up all my friends are kids still, it's weird. Uh, and it takes forever to go into each household and age them up. You can cheat it, but it's like, why do the parents never die? And stuff. Oh my goodness, he's blue! Oh dear, you need to go inside. Fadi, don't stand around out there. Uh, can, we, can he have a, like a hot bath, maybe? No. Those trees. Take a bath. Yeah, go. Don't. Oh no. He's freezing to ice. That's not good. Stop. Don't work out now. Your brother's dying. But we can help him. Okay, stop. Oh my goodness. Look, he's dying. That's not good. Ah, oh, come on. Help him. Ah. Oh. <laughs> this is so bad. What is happening? Ah, oh, can you do it? Why am I not getting the option? Cool. Oh, he is doing it. Oh, thank you. Whew. <laughs> Anyways, we're discussing what is the best Sims of all times. It's not Sims 1. <laughs> Uh, I can play The Sims 1, uh, I installed it and it's, it was a hassle, it wasn't easy. Uh, but it's like, uh, the kids n never grow up, so like that's not good. So like that was the, oh right, okay, so history lesson. Okay, so Sims 1 came out. It was awesome. <laughs> we had never had a game like that before. We got to play with humans, uh, little simulated humans, you know, oh, I'm the puppet master. Um, it, it was like, yeah, that was a revolution, the revolution of The Sims that we didn't have that before. So that was cool. We'll write as uh, a master mind person. Anyway, so then, uh, later, I still haven't looked it up. I need to look up what year it was because I've been like teaching this story, <laughs> like this history for a while. And okay, so Sims 2 release. We need to know. 2004, okay, so four, four years uh, it was the year 2000 uh, The Sims 1 came out, so four years later The Sims 2 came out and it blew our minds because you can have uh, babies that turn into toddlers that we never had before and then they turn into children and then they turn into teenagers and then uh, adults and then later we had young adults when uh, university came out uh, and then uh, of course, elders, and uh, and then they die. But they can have babies, and they can have babies, so we can play for generations. That was the like the revolutionary part of The Sims 2. Like it blew our minds, truly. 
Have you ever heard of the movies game? Yeah, I have played that and I have some very weird videos on YouTube from it. Anyway. <laughs> It's like the same, but it's dedicated to only making your own movie. I was so bad at that game. That door was just opened by the house ghost, uh, I think. I don't know. Um, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was fun, but I, I found it really hard. I, I wasn't good at it. You threw me off! I was going through the history of The Sims. Okay, so The Sims 2 revolutionized the way we thought about Sims. We can now have generation is awesome. But then, like, after a few years, we, like, it was bothering us that no one else was um, growing up and stuff. And they added in uh so that when you grew up you get got to choose your friends uh, some of your friends um where are you going now though um can you like keep warm you're all blue why is he doing this oh my goodness do we need a fireplace i think we need a fireplace where should we put that? i don't have a living room for this house oh we'll try and fix that um so where were I? Yeah, okay, so let, uh, let's let skip to when The Sims 3 came out. Um, that was... <laughs> okay, so I knew that, but then <laughs> I looked up when The Sims uh, 2 came out, and then I forgot. Uh, 2009, The Sims 3 came out. So that is five years after The Sims 2. And the revolutionary part of The Sims uh, 3 was this. <laughs> no, <laughs> that you can drag walls. We couldn't do that before. It was actually, it was actually uh, quite a feature that we really appreciated because before, before that, we had to like uh, demol demolish walls. Oh, oh, I now I see. Uh, to move them, and it costs money, so we don't want that. All right. Didn't I have another one of these? Apparently not. Yeah, but the truly revolutionary part, though, was actually that the neighbors grew up. Like, oh, and also, like, this open world that we can, like, go anywhere. There's no loading screens, uh, like, e ever. Like, uh, this, in the inside of this house is not loaded now. It's loaded if we, what, if we peek inside the window or we knock on the door. Uh, then it gets loaded. And, uh, yeah, they... I don't know exactly how they handle things, but like if we go into live mode and I go like over here, um, then like the graphics for the lot way over there is not that it's not loaded uh, because I can't see it. Uh, and also like it's really far and in the settings I can see, say how many lots over I want to have loaded at the same time. Hello, what is this world? This is the desert island that I created in Creator World for The Sims 3. Because Sims 3 has a Creator World, unlike Sims 4. Uh, yeah, so that was the revolutionary part that our neighbors now um, grow up and we have an open world and it's like awesome. Like this blew our minds again. So, like, this seems to blow our minds with uh, generations, and this blew our mind with open world and a live open world that uh, evolves uh, on its own. There's like whoosh, <laughs> it's uh, like so awesome. Uh, and then, and creating world was not the revolutionary part because we could do that in The Sims 2 as well. Anyway. Um, that looks good. Love watching Creator World series on YouTube. 
Huh. There's a there's a creator world series. <laughs> I would like to watch that because I would love me some tips. This is sort of a hello world. Um, I didn't know if I could do it, so I it's just a test. But then I couldn't stop playing it. So <laughs> uh, anyway, so that that was the revolutionary part. And then The Sims Four came out. Um, closed world, kind of story progression, but they don't get kids. Like they age, but they don't get kids. Um, loading screens are back. Um, there was no family tree. There was no pools. There were no toddlers. Like the the babies are so bad. Like, mind blown at how bad you can make a sequel. <laughs> like, I was so disappointed, actually. I, I mean, the graphics of The Sims 4 is awesome. They look so good. However, I can't create a world. I can't. I can't go into the, the existing worlds and take out the street lights if I want to make a medieval save. Uh, so like, um, yeah, I as I said, it took me a while to, to make the switch to Sims 4 because I was like, uh, there's nothing drag, like, like there's nothing attracting me to it. Uh, but then I did because of I wanted to be part of the community, really. Why don't you go inside? Oh, oh, uh, I forgot what I was doing. I was building here because I wanted to put uh, a uh, fireplace inside. Uh, do we have those? Where do we have fireplaces? I don't remember. Mm, maybe in the living room? Don't we actually have fireplaces? I can't remember. <laughs> was there no family tree? I can't remember that and I've had it since the start. Uh, yeah, there was That was my main issue actually. <laughs> like personally, personally, when I loaded up The Sims 4 and looked for the family tree, I also looked for, like in The Sims 2, we had a really good story writing function like we have something like that in here too i think but i think it's a step down from the sims 2 actually oh. i think we have like we have this uh click book we can do a biography we have stats and we have memories um so, like, when stuff happens, he collected mushrooms uh, at home, apparently. I don't know. No, I don't want to share it. All right. So, his last memory is he got frozen stiff. Okay. That's pretty cool, but uh, I want to write a story. Hello, Tanalif. <laughs> How are you today? Yes, Sims 2 is so good. I'm currently playing it right now. Oh, I'm sorry. That was really loud for me. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. <laughs> uh, okay, so, uh, yeah. Huh, yeah, I'm looking for fireplaces. Don't we have them? I don't know. Um, I've been playing Sims 4 for so long, but surely we have fireplaces. This is a bar. Build mode. Really? Oh, here they are. <laughs> oh, uh, they constantly keep selling you stuff. Uh, do we want... What good are they? They're fun and environment. Oh, but the cheaper ones are not less fun. So we can have the cheapest one and save some money. So I'll just put it... Can I put it diagonally? Ah, what's happening? It's not doing what I want. 
Oh, all right. Ah, why are you being weird? Okay. <laughs> Just go there, fireplace. Because now I think he can go and uh, be warm. There you go. Thank you for telling me where they are. I couldn't find them. <clears throat> it makes sense though. It is like part of the house. So yeah, I loaded the Sims 4 up and they were missing so much features and they go. Yeah, it's a new, it's a new engine. And um, <laughs> no problem. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so the, it's a new engine, so we put a lot of effort into like switching to this newer engine. And now I don't know what happened. I hope my game didn't crash because I didn't save for a while. Let's save. That gave me a scare. <laughs> um, yeah, so they there wasn't family tree, there wasn't toddlers, there wasn't cars, there wasn't... Uh, the babies were really bad uh, because, like, uh, I expected them to look better. The first, like, the first time my sim self uh, had a baby and she picked it up and she held it and I was like, what is that? <laughs> what? Pools weren't there. No, yeah, we didn't have pools, we didn't have ghosts. Uh, there's probably something more we didn't have. We didn't have spiral staircases, uh, but that's usually not in the base game, so... Some people say once we get spiral stair staircases, that's the signal that uh, the game is uh, going out and the next iteration <laughs> is about to be released. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, yeah, so I, they were like, yeah, uh, we have this new engine, we had to release early, uh, it was originally thought to be a mobile game, but it's not now, it was supposed to be more online features, but there's not, and uh, so, uh, but, but we'll, we'll patch those features in. You, you wait and you be patient and we'll patch them in. And I was feeling like they haven't really. Like they have patched some of it in, like toddlers are like really good in The Sims 4. Um, but like we, we still don't have cars, it's been six years. Didn't know there's cows and birds in The Sims 3. Yeah, uh, birds spawn like, oh, uh, we, we go over here to the park. I put a lot of spawners here, so there should be probably. We have turtles. <laughs> There's a lot of turtles here. Uh, they Okay, but birds can spawn here. Is that a bird? Yeah, look. Look, look, look. There's a birdie. Oh my goodness. All right. There's a snake. We haven't had a snake yet. Uh, Bender, go catch a snake. We need to have it. I have never seen a snake in this save before. Uh, so that's cool. I don't know if he'll, he will be able to catch it though. Um, they've been lazy with Sims 4. Crazy amount of packs that are meaningless. I don't think they're meaningless uh, per se. But I do feel that they lack the depth that we expected. So like they have been riding the the reputation of the Sims franchise like for six years and it's actually kind of impressing how uh, how long they have been able to have that make that going like <laughs> it's the, it, this should have happened earlier I feel the outrage that is happening right now <laughs> Uh, oh, he got a snake. Should we get these lizard? We can sell them. I don't think we should keep them because we can't fit them in our house, but we can use the money. Uh, and he, if he can catch that bird, we can have two birds. 
That's okay. We have two bird nests at at home anyway. Money, money, money. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, so is this worth anything? Yeah, I'll just sell this lizard. Oh, chameleon? That's way cooler than the one we have at home. Okay, so, so we can switch that, I think. Yes, the Sims 3, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think, like, for me, this is the perfect Sims game right now. Because it has the most of what I want. It has cards. I really like how I like the cars better in The Sims 2 actually, um, because look at look at this. Where did that cab come from? What does it cost? Does it cost anything? No, and he could walk all the way home, but he he won't, uh, or like ride a bike or something. But I have haven't given him any bike because there's cabs, so I don't like that. Um, can't remember if the the cabs in The Sims 2 costs anything, uh, but I don't like that they get to ride around for free. I don't like that. <laughs> I do love The Sims 3. Yeah, I do too. Oh, hi, Mermaid Simmer. I didn't see that it was you. <laughs> Thank you for popping into my stream. It was really nice of you. You can get a mod, I believe, where Sims pay for the taxi. I had to look into that because I think it's unrealistic that they get to ride around for free. So, yeah. <laughs> where was I? Uh, it was something about... The question was, what is the best Sims game of all time? Some say it's t Sims 2, because if Sims 2 had story progression, uh, it would be a close contender to The Sims 3, but I like the graphics better in The Sims 3 than The Sims 2. Yeah, there's like 20 simoleons or something for them to ride in it. Yeah, that's... That's reasonable. I like that. Oh, uh, yeah, then I went on the whole, uh, we have birds in The Sims 3 uh, thing. Uh, we have the, these birds as well. Um, and they are separately bought on The Sims 3 store for Sim... What are they called? Sim money? Sim, Sim points. That's, that's it. Okay, so Fahad is working here. <laughs> oh, right, we own this. We can gather money. Haha. <laughs> uh, I'm saving up for a tractor. Because the last thing that I bought before I stopped playing The Sims 3 was uh, this pack or bundle or whatever. Um, where is it? not in here sometimes I have a, such a hard time finding stuff is it in here no it's in vehicles that that's where it is okay so we can have like tractor uh, roads and I think uh, the tractor goes on these and you can have plants on the sides and you can like farm really well with it but the tractor itself costs 12,000 simoleons so I can't just get it <laughs> cute <laughs> thank you I really want that pack you're talking about it looks so cool yeah I think it's called something like uh, the grandpa's farming I don't, I don't remember but yeah so I bought that oh wait 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 there's a lot, I think. Uh, if we go into Shane City and then. Yeah, the Grandpa's Plantage. Plantage? <laughs> Farm? Um, yeah, so this. Whoop! I have that on so such loud noise! <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get scared every time. Um, that was the pack. It's, it's called like Grandpa's Farming something. 
There we go. Yeah, 12,000 for a tractor is a lot, uh, but I don't accuse the Sims 3 for being too easy. Like, at all. All oh, right, we were going to see if... Oh, oh, what is going on with Paddy? Are you, like, hot? No, ah, uh, yeah. So he was freezing to death, but I think he's fine now. And he's watching his TV, so he's happy. <laughs> like, he's a couch potato. He, he, he likes to sit in here watching TV, and I didn't give him a very comfortable couch, but he seems happy with it, so... <laughs> That's good. Like, why is there clothes in the kitchen all the time? Do I need to put a laundry basket in here? Really? Did nobody light this? Apparently not. Hey, how are you? Are you doing a challenge? Um, kind of, yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay, so so let me tell you about my settlers challenge, which I have broken several rules of already, so I'm not doing it properly, but I'm having fun. So, okay, so I made this world in, in Creator World, and it, uh, I had it empty, and that, uh, that's how I started. And then the rule is, uh, I can only put a, a civic building if I have a, a grown-up sim, uh, to man it and I can't just create sims I have to like breed them <laughs> <coughs> so uh, yeah so I started with with Tammy here um, and I had this uh, restaurant um, well it's a combined lunch restaurant and uh, a food store um, but she didn't work there because she is busy farming so, but she sells her uh, produce here, so kind of uh, counts, I guess, but I shouldn't have the lunch restaurant, uh, that's cheating. And then I added the, the city hall because I needed to have it to go into Enra's um, settings, <laughs> so that's just why it's there. <clears throat> but that was technically cheating, uh, I shouldn't have, uh, and then... We have this little um, um, what, fortune telling wagon here where Fahad works. It's a really old choice for a civic. It's not a civic building, is it? I don't know. <laughs> but so uh, I don't know if I'm cheating. So uh, there's no school in this uh, world. And then we also have the writing center because I kind of had to have it like I'm such a cheat so uh, I'm, I'm actually not supposed to have it but I do <laughs> and then we have the park of course and I, I put this uh, little uh, cat jungle lot here hoping that some strays would spawn but they don't um, yeah so um, it's not really a challenge is it <laughs> I don't know, since I'm breaking the rules so much, but it's the Sims. You can you can do whatever you want. Um, however, uh, Bender wants to adopt six strays, and since no strays are ever spawning, even though I put these gnomes here, I don't know if this gnome does any anything, but we have like this one. Um, that says dogs allowed, uh, but there's no dogs here. I don't know if I should put out like a dog house or anything. Maybe if I get a dog and get a lot of things outside, they will spawn. I don't know. I play challenges like that too. <laughs> the rules say just guidelines. Yeah. And I'm like kind of always playing a legacy, like just trying to get to 10 generations. And sometimes I go by the oldest uh, offspring is the heir, but sometimes I go and play the, the youngest sibling just because I get to play this, the Sims family for the longest. And then I can change when everyone is old anyways. Uh, and. I mean, uh, Tammy is 
very old. She's she about to die. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, so let's see if Bender can. Is it services? I think adopt a pet from there <laughs> from the shelter and see if that helps him. Oh, oh, we were going to put the snake somewhere and also this bird. Let's put that there. <laughs> uh, yeah, there you go. We have a bird. Um, he has food. Where do we put the snake though? We can have it in this weird corner that I, for some reason, created. I don't know, really. Um, snake terrarium. Oh, that's cool. What is it? Is it a Malayan crate? I don't know what that is. Lighting the fire because it's nice. Hey, can I have a pet? Oh, he has some kind of photograph. Uh, so, should we get a dog or a cat? I don't think horses count to that uh, lifetime wish. So, um, yeah, what, what happens is I usually start a challenge and then uh, like, okay, here are the rules. This is what we're going to do. And then the Sims like get their own life <laughs> and then so stuff happened now yeah then i just play uh hmm like i feel maybe a cat is more manageable maybe oh but this is cute and it's non-destructive I think I should get this one. What do you think? Yeah, let's. Oh, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. What did we name it? F the, the fluffs. The fluffatron. Oh, I hate that um, limit. Can't have any more <laughs> letters. But that's fine. Oh. Oh, look at this. Look at this snake. Yeah, so, okay. Like, we are used to getting um, things in expansion packs. Like, the expansion packs are supposed to expand our games. So, like, in The Sims 1, we got pets. I think it was called pets back then. Hang on, I have a family member crying for me. <laughs> I'll, I'll go check what that is and come back. Uh, be right back. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, apparently the family is awake. I stream in the morning time like this and then they wake up. Oh, I was going to change this little lizard. Can I open? No. Can... 
No, I'm a... Mm. The lizard, not the... Uh, I don't know what that's called in English. Let's put the chameleon here instead. That's so cool. Having a chameleon. Oh, oh, and also you don't get the pet right away. Uh, pay bills. Yeah. It comes in a little while. So, um, we're gonna have breakfast together after I. After I'm done with this stream. All right. So yeah, um, but we we will wait for the dog. I want to see the dog in action. Oh, I was gonna. S uh, this is a little pygmy Komodo dragon. Is that's cool? But I'm gonna sell it now. He can't play plant this. Oh, and we have like fireflies but i don't think we need more fireflies we have these so i can just sell those that's not very much money is it i also have iron i don't know what to do with these we can melt it but i don't understand why <laughs> like, they're probably used for something but i don't know what are these growing or something no I think having an outside garden is so smart because then you get winter time to rest from that and you can do other stuff <laughs> like going on vacation and I don't know if time actually passes though while you're uh, on vacation. Oh here's the dog, oh hello, the Fluffatron. <laughs> Uh, like fluffy for short, obviously. Okay, so the mm, the important thing to figure out now. Oh, like that worked. So we can just adopt from the shelter and have um and have um, this lifetime wish being completed. That that is actually. Um, well, it's good since there there's no stray pets actually spawning. Uh, but it seems a little bit too easy. I don't know. Let's take care of these. Do we still have mail? All right. What a beautiful name. Is it a puppy? Uh, I think so. No. No, it's actually an old dog. All right. <laughs> I thought it was a puppy too. <laughs> but it's actually an old dog. But it's nice that we can give the, the old Fluffatron uh, a nice home. Like, in, it went to a farm where it can run around chasing, not rabbits, but, you know, various creatures that might spawn on the ground. Oh, pfft. I knew I had another counter. <laughs> That's where it went. All right, okay. I hope this won't catch on fire. <laughs> All right, okay. Now that this is starting to look like a kitchen. Uh, and I didn't I didn't start with zero money like we do in The Sims 4 when we start a challenge, but I think it was a challenge anyway. Uh, remember to save your game. Thank you. I will do that. Um, yeah, so now that we have our puppy. Oh, does it have... I need to check. I need to check if we have no. It the, it's all it's only trait is that it's non-destructive. Uh, now it's barking. I think uh, Fadi can tell him not to do that. What we can uh, encourage being adventurous is looking through the window. Really? Okay. Yeah, so uh, I'm gonna go have breakfast. 
I just saved and I'm saving again. Like, why not? <laughs> so, um, I hope you enjoy this stream. Uh, I wish I could stream longer, but I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> my family is awake enjoy your breakfast thank you i will and uh i will raid someone I'll s s um, i i will find someone to ra raid after i click the end screen button so uh stay tuned for that and uh, take care have a super du duper time until next time bye bye